Good evening and thanks for joining us. She's lucky to be alive. That's the story of a Rockview prison employee who police say was nearly choked to death while being raped. There are new details on the reported attack emerging as police continue their investigation. They say the only thing the woman had to fend off the inmate who badly beat her was a whistle. And Gary Sanderson has it in a story you'll only see here on 6 News. The new information is in this court document just filed by state police investigating the Rockview incident that was reported late last month. They say the 24-year-old woman who was attacked had just started working at Rockview in June. She was in a prison office when an inmate on janitorial duty first strangled her, and then she's not certain what happened. But she was found unconscious with her pants down and underwear missing. She tried to call for help using a whistle, but there was no response. But the reality is, I think there are some policy changes that need to be seriously reviewed. Uh, I happen to be a supporter of allowing at least a sergeant of a block to be carrying some type of electronic device like a taser to assist them in the takedowns. State Representative Kerry Benninghoff is calling for a special investigation. The police report says the inmate may have been in the woman's office for at least 20 minutes. She was found bruised and battered, but identified her attacker. Just last Friday, Governor Corbett telling us he's awaiting a report from the Secretary of the Department of Corrections. Abs Corrections. Absolutely. absolutely. I'm, you know, I am very confident he will get to the bottom of it right away. In Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.